Ah, uh, yes. So refreshing. Hey, everyone, and welcome back. So today, I'm back in Bloxburg again, as you guys can see, and we are back in the beach town because we are going to be starting on another one of, like, the main town projects. So, but I thought today it would be really fun to actually work on the main pier itself, probably like the, the pier slash beach area. I think that could be really fun for today's video. But without further ado, let's just get straight into this. All right, let's see. First things first, I definitely need some stairs. I think I'm just gonna use the regular deck stairs. I think these ones are probably gonna work. Oh, okay. If it faces the right way, I think these ones are gonna work the best for my for my pier here. I yes, love that. <laughs> Does it line up? Nope, and that's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, I need more support. I just realized I just I, I need more support. <laughs> I didn't realize of how weird that would look without the support there. Okay, hold up. Wait a minute. Okay, well, I definitely want to build some sort of shop up here. I was either debating by doing a cafe or a restaurant. Uh, I don't know. I think this is definitely the shape I want to do for the cafe, but I don't know if I should do <laughs> cafe. I keep saying cafe, and here I am debating if I want to do a cafe or a restaurant. I don't know, because, I mean, it's a small building to work with, so there's not a lot of room. I might just do a cafe. Yeah, I think that would be fun. I think we can do, like, a cafe up on the pier. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Have, like, a cafe and just be able to overlook the ocean. Ooh, that's kind of... That sounds relaxing, actually. There we go. All right, uh, let's see. What kind of texture do I want to use? Hmm. I'm using vertical planks. I have an obsession with vertical planks now. I, I am fairly certain I have an obsession with vertical planks. I don't know. I just love the vertical planks. They look so... It's just such a nice texture. Watch, we're going to get like a new texture next update or something. I'm like, this is now my new favorite. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, I definitely want to start on the main shop here. So I think I'm going to make it like a regular commercial building. So let's just get some commercial doors going right there. Ah, uh, yes, I love this. I think I'm just going to make it all open as well. I don't know if I want to have any separation between like the main work area and... um. I guess like the, the the seating for the customers. Okay, yeah. So I think I'm gonna make this like the little work area back here. Okay, so let's see counters. We're gonna need some counters. What kind of counters? Mm, I guess I'll just use the basic counters for now. Oh gosh, nope, 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 nope. My counter will. I refuse. I am not having my counter stick to the wall. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm gonna need that display stand. I think the display stand will look really nice in here. All right, let's get a display stand in here. You know, you can like show off all the baked goods and everything that the bakery has to offer. Um, I might make this a little bit smaller. I don't want the, I don't want like the whole kitchen area to be like really math. Like I don't want it to be like a big kitchen. I just kind of want to keep it like a normal size kitchen, I think. All right, let's see. Um, going on to the appliances, I think I'm just going to get a regular flex freezer. I mean, I know we have these commercial fridges, but um, <clears throat> we'll get some ovens in the back as well. You know, ha have that fresh pastries being baked daily. Let's see. Um, also get some shaker counters over here as well. Ah, this is a tight kitchen. Oh my gosh. Yep. This is a, this is quite a kitchen. This is a little bit of a tight kitchen. Um, I'm switching stuff around. I'm switching stuff around. Oh my gosh, this is a this is the tightest kitchen I've ever seen. Bit of an odd design. I know I know it's a little bit of an odd design, but I think it. I think this works honestly. All right, let's see. I do want to get onto the seating area. I think I do want to use like some form of like sofa or like some form of seating. But wait, let's see. What kind of sectionals do we have? Ooh, uh, maybe I could use some of these sectionals. You know what? I think I'm gonna use a modern hairpin stuff. <laughs> when in doubt, modern hairpin. Oh wait, we do have double. Okay, I'm, I'm using. I'm using the sofa. I'm using the sofa. This is gonna be so much easier. I didn't think that we had a sofa for some reason. The modern hairpin. This is how you know I have um, definitely forgotten some stuff exists within Bloxburg. And then yeah, I think I think this is good. I think this is good seating for our miniature cafe area. I mean, I like it. I feel like I feel like the flow. The flow is pretty good so far. I, I like the idea. Oh my gosh, that is, that is gonna be some tight tables. Okay, wait, let's see. What kind of table should I use for this? Um, all right, I think, I think I'm just gonna use some modern hairpin coffee tables. I think these ones are probably work best. I mean, I mean, they work, right? It, it, function, it functions like a table. Everything's fine. As long as you can put food and drinks on it, you should be good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I like this, dude. This is gonna be so cool. Oh, I love this going on over here just so you can have a nice view of the pier or, or just the beach town in general while you're enjoying a cup of coffee or maybe hanging out eating some pastries or something you know <laughs> um let's see do i want to have this be a two-story building mm, you know i think i'm gonna do a two-story cafe i i was i was a little bit unsure if i wanted to do a two-story cafe at first but i think i might go through with that here, wait first of all i'm definitely gonna need some stairs probably just gonna use like these little classic spiral stairs honestly these just work the best in like tight little situations i am sorry for whoever is sitting right here please please be careful when you are leaning back you may hit your head on the staircase <laughs> oh my gosh this is this is not this is not good planning Honestly, I kind of like this idea, having like a two-story cafe. Ooh, this is kind of nice. I like it. Ooh. 
I was uncertain about this at first, but now I'm not. <laughs> I like this. See, this is a cool feeling. I think I just like the idea of having like more buildings within the actual town that are a bit taller. Because I mean, like, all my other shops in towns or all my other shops are just been one stories right now. <gasps> yes, dude, I love this idea. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Wait, what kind of roof should I use? Ooh, I, mean, I could go with like a little bit of like a modern. Yeah, I, might, I think I like that. I think I might use that as my um as my roof for my building right here. Um, let's see, I definitely want to focus down here. Okay, so we definitely need some lighting. I think I want to use the pendants. I think the pendants could be quite fun to use. Oh, you know what? I could do like an industrial modern cafe. Yes. Wait, does that fit with the beach town vibe? Mm, that's a good question. Does it? Does it fit with the beach town vibe? I could definitely have, add some beach flair to this building here. Yeah, do not worry. This is quite the cafe. What in the world have I done? What have I done? Oh my gosh. What have I done? I kind of like that hood. Hmm. <clears throat> this is quite a cafe, my goodness. Okay, okay then. Okay, well, I think we're done with the main shop area for now, so I really want to get onto the actual pier. Um, I think I'm just going to use the rope fences here. I think that I think that's what piers usually have. I think they usually have, like, rope fences. Some might have metal fences. Could be be mistaken by that comment. Um, Yeah, I think I just want to use the regular rope fences here. I think these will really add on to, like, the pier, the pier, the, the pier aesthetic, the pier feeling that we have. Oh, that I'm trying to go for here. Um, let's see, we'll just have this connect all the way over here. Oh my gosh, what the what? It gets really glitchy when it goes like out of bounds. Let's get some wooden park benches out here. Oh yes, dude. Yeah, so you can just like overlook the pier, you know, just just chillax. Just just chill, relax out here. Have a good time in general. Um oh I definitely need some trash cans out here, that's for sure. No no littering. No littering in this in this uh, beach town here. <laughs> Uh, I think I'll just get the regular outdoor trash cans. I think these ones will work nice here. Might add in some like custom hedges in the center. And then, I don't know. Hmm. What kind of color, coloring do I want to do for the exterior of this place? Oh, I don't know. What did I use down there? Ooh, like some white blanks. Ooh, that could look nice. Add like some. <gasps> Ooh, wait, I kind of like this. Wait, I kind of like the linen. <gasps> wait, is this the same color? Hmm, wait a minute. I don't know if I want to have the exact. <gasps> wait, yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, yes. I love this. Oh, yeah, that looks so nice. Okay, well, we got like the main texturing down for the exterior. So I think what I'm going to do is probably do a little speed build, add some more detailing here and there, and then I'll come back when I'm ready for the tour. Alright then guys, I have finally finished up the pier and the cafe and let's just go over and look at it. So walking up here, we are first greeted with some seating and just for a place to chill and relax while you're exploring the pier. Anyways, walking into the actual cafe itself and do not worry, I will be putting a customly made sign up there once I am done with um, the whole beach town. But as we walk in, we are greeted with this nice little entry area here. We have a lot of greenery around because I wanted to, you know, make it feel like this actually belonged in the beach town. So over here along the sides near the windows, we have a lot of seating, enough for four people at least in, in one little booth area. Um, oh my gosh, I completely forgot you could rest on these sofas. <laughs> but yeah, just some nice little seating areas right here. We have some more seating over here as well with some paintings. And then right here, we do have the main little kitchen bakery area. Um, nothing too fancy, honestly. Little entrance for the employees to come in. Okay, there we go. I added in the appliances because I completely forgot about them, honestly. I'll probably be adding in a coffee machine. I just gotta go take it from my other town if I'm being completely honest. Um, but yeah, just a nice little small kitchen for the employees. We have two ovens here so they can bake, um, they can bake pastries twice as fast if they want. Um, just a lot of cabinet space as well. Um, nothing, nothing too much, honestly. And then heading on upstairs, there is just pretty much more seating up here. I guess a bit of a better view. Um, you get to see really a lot of the beach town, which I really like. So I am glad that I went with a two story build. Um, yeah, just a bunch more seating up here. We've got a nice little bookcase with some books. So if you want to maybe read a book while you're waiting for your food to be ready or delivered. 
Um, but yeah, nice views all around. Honestly, I can't wait till this place is finished because it's going to look amazing when it is done. But um, yeah, and you can also look down into the kitchen or anyone else while you're walking up here. But that's pretty much it for the cafe. And then continuing on with the actual boardwalk itself. Um, over here, we do have this nice little stand. I'm just going to make this like a little ice cream stand, kind of like in my summer water park area. But um, yeah, I need to go grab the sign decal for that, honestly, and put it there. And then also go get some ice cream machines. Um, added in a little duffel bag here. Just we'll, we'll just say it's the owner's, it's the owner's duffel bag here. Um, over here is just pretty much a bunch of seating. So if you just want to chill out on the pier and just look around and just listen to the sounds of the waves and whatnot. In the future, I might be adding a lighthouse over here. Some something fun. Add more onto the beach. Um, honestly, I kind of forgot about the beach area. <laughs> Oops, my bad. <laughs> but yeah, I'll probably be adding some more seating out there and a bunch of umbrellas and just a bunch more fun stuff that makes it actually feel like a beach town. But that's pretty much it for this tour. All right, then, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of me creating a cafe on my new pier slash boardwalk area. Honestly, I think the cafe turned out great. I am really excited to continue on with the beach town. We'll probably get into that next week. Um, I don't know when I'll finish it. Fingers crossed, maybe like maybe like a week or two into July, I can try to finish it then and there. But no promises. Um, I'm definitely going to try to take my time and make this as detailed as possible. Oh my gosh, please ignore that in the background. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And with that being said, I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye, everyone.